you know, he doesn't have to be that aggressive. And I guess at this at this point in the race, maybe you're you're super aggressive, but you just don't run people up in the fence. He's going to make a lot of enemies. That it's hard to win a championship when you got a lot of paybacks out there. Well, I think what makes those comments from Rick Hendrick even tougher to kind of swallow is the fact that Rick knows talent. Rick knows how to win the championship, but in the end, I think it's the results. I did a little research. Nine races in a row, Ross Chastain has been involved in incidents. Yes, he's been involved, but let's back it up. They're not all his fault, but he's been involved in them. And, and as you look at it, we've had a couple that weren't his he was in the, in the middle of, but nine in a row speaks for his aggressiveness. I think my first issue with Ross Chastain at Darlington comes on this restart around lap 202. Kyle Larson, the leader on the outside, Chastain on the inside. Yeah, definitely. Side by side through one and two. They maintain that for a full lap till they get back to that corner the next time. Still side by side. Ross Chastain uses a move that I think you, you appreciate <laughs> just the wrong time. It is. This is an impressive move. Chastain knows he cannot stay on the bottom, so he runs the five as high as he dares right there. The right sides, I mean six inches in the gray. Not a foot, not two feet. He pushes Larson up six inches. Forces the five to get out of the gas. I love the move. I just don't love the move with 80 laps to go in the race. It's a move I've seen Kyle Larson pull on other people as well. But to your point, 80 to go in the race, come down to the green-white checker, this is a great move. Someplace in the last 20, I think it makes sense. But 80 to go, it's pretty aggressive. Where did he come up with this move? 2018, Chastain on the scene, Xfinity racing in the 42. Kevin Harvick dives to the inside. Now, I'll actually admit, I thought Chastain did a little bit better than Harvick because Harvick runs him all the way up. No choice but contact with the wall with Chastain. It looks to me like Ross learned about this move, used it on the five car successfully, but this was really just the start. This is when Ross really came on the scene and when we all kind of saw him as a future uh, cup racer. And uh, Kyle's done it in places. We've seen it, he and Bubba last year, but Ross is aware of the move and used it probably a little too early. Well, he definitely used it too early because now Kyle Larson's going to get back at him. Now this, Larson takes every bit of racetrack. He proves his point to Chastain, runs him all the way into the fence. If you look out in front of the wreck, you see the one and the five are beating and banging. They're in the fence already. So this really takes us to the final restart, right? Which everybody talked about. How are they going to get through the final restart cleanly? Uh, I think everyone in Darlington, everyone watching on TV, everyone knew it was going to be a challenge. Yeah, including the two drivers, Kyle Larson and Ross Chastain. I think they talked about it on the radio that they felt like they were going to race that way. William Byron, the one that was smart to take advantage of it. Yeah, and in the end, it's on Chastain. Kyle Larson didn't do him any favors. Shallow entry into one, but that's what I would do if I'm on the outside, try to take away that momentum. And the one wrecks himself and the five together, that's just too aggressive. That doesn't do anything for, there was no result that that was gonna work. This is what happens with six to go and emotions. And I think the two of them had raced each other pretty hard, been involved in it, got too far clear of the five car, really, to be honest with you. That's, if he's side by side with them, then they bang doors like they did the restart before. If I was his crew chief, I would be cheering him on in public, but we would have to have some private conversations. I know you had an aggressive Joe Logano, I've had aggressive Jeff Gordon. We've all had drivers that have had to learn to kind of channel that aggression. Yeah, yeah, I, I, and it's, that's just part of the maturation process of coming onto the scene, being this aggressive. You talked about, I had Joey, but we had conversations. He'd come in my office and close the door. We'd talk through the races that happened, try to figure out how we continue that aggressiveness in the right places. Well, there's a long list of drivers and now owners that are upset with Ross Chastain. It's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out through the summer.